Hi, I'm Love. I'm the owner of Art Is My Love, a private tattoo studio in Alexandria, Virginia. Hey y'all, my name is Shavonna Rhodes, but I go by the name Bang. I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia, and the name of my private tattoo studio is Bang Inc. My name is Damo Giuliano, and I'm a tattoo artist in Los Angeles, California. My name is Candace Lane, and I'm a tattoo artist in Marietta, Georgia. I have a private studio called Magic Mirror. My name is Kevin Wilkins, the artist formerly known as Ink Me Up Kevo, live in the flesh. My name is Debbie Snack. I am a tattooer in Atlanta, Georgia. How y'all doing? My name is Rodney Savage. I'm a tattoo artist out of Philadelphia. I'm recently at Tattoo Studio 237 in Westville, New Jersey. My experience as a black artist in the tattoo industry is that there is no HR department in the tattoo industry. Artists are free to discriminate based on race or gender identity or any other qualitative factors when choosing clients or offering apprenticeships or even jobs. I've had firsthand experiences with these challenges of professional artists discriminating against me because of my stretch marks or even my dark skin. I'm not the first black woman to tattoo, but as an intersectional artist, I'm devoted to bringing quality, high-end tattoo experiences to those who seek it out regardless of their gender presentation, body size, body type, or the color of their skin. Being a black tattoo artist, I like that it's very, very surprising once they go in my uh, station and they see an abundance of colors. <laughs> I like proving people wrong about color not lasting on sharp clients. Listen, you can get color. You can get color, my guy. You gotta do the research. As long as y'all do the research, anybody can get color. Don't ever have anybody that say, oh, you can't get color. They've not experienced enough. That is a way for them to just shy you off to the side. But if you do the research, you'll find the right person. And if you find me, I got you. I can honestly say that when it comes to these tattoo conventions, it's very selective when it comes to black tattoo artists, let alone black female tattoo artists, promoters, and these people who put on these tattoo conventions don't take into consideration the diversity that is needed. I've had some experiences where I've done tattoo conventions and black people were <laughs> segregated. We're fucking in 2023 and we're still being segregated. There's conventions where it's like black people are in one row, eight master people are in another row, and you got the white tattoo artists in another row. It's just, we don't, come on now, we don't need stuff like that. We need to diversify the tattoo community and that shit should have started years ago. I can't say that I've seen a lot of progress as far as like inclusivity. I guess like desegregating tattooing and that's been beautiful to see but at the same time I just wish that there was like some type of protocol in place as far as dealing with inappropriate behavior towards black people in these spaces. I have always been cautious of speaking up about things that are said to me that are inappropriate because I didn't want my workplace to become an even more toxic or like hostile environment. I also think that it would be nice for shops to not just have one black person because it feels like tokenism. And that may not be the intention, but it's really hard to be the only black person somewhere. It's really hard. I cannot like stress that enough. Something that I would like to change as far as like in the industry when it comes to diversity, inclusivity, acceptance, and education, what I would like to be is the bridge. If I can bridge the gap between the ones who give out tattoo seminars who are people of color and the ones who give out seminars who are not people of color, if I could bridge the gap with all of these people that we glorify in the tattoo industry, that is something that would make me really feel good, you know? Like instead of us all going to a tattoo commission just to tattoo, how about we go to a tattoo seminar where it's the people of color that we glorify in the industry and the people who are not of color that we glorify in the industry all coming together so that we all can teach each other and so that we all can learn more. The thing I would like to change about the industry is the value that they put on black and brown artists. I would like them to value us more and understand that we are on the same level as them. I would like the industry to 
stop the segregation black industry white industry whatever we're all tattooers i would like us to unify more i'm pretty sure we could all learn something from each other but even if they don't then i still want them to respect us as artists and acknowledge our worth because we are just as good if not better how do i express my pride in being a member of the black community pretty much the best way i know how is to be myself being myself you know making my clients feel comfortable uh, when they're getting their uh, tattoo giving them the best tattoo experience that they can imagine you feel me making them feel welcome you know what i'm saying taking pride in my work you know not just tattooing bullshit on my clients and community but really taking time with it you know as a person of color in the industry i just want to be taken serious you know what i mean just because you know i don't want to be taken light because of the color of my skin don't judge me by the color of my skin you feel me i could do what the next man can do you should always want to grow you should always want to like stand for something find out something get you know learn something your mind it has to be a sponge and it, it really does i am proud to be a black female tattoo artist i am proud to be a great confident black tattoo artist and I would like to see more of that. I want to be a great artist, not just a great black artist in the black industry. I just want to be a great artist. And I would love to see that become the standard where people are just taken for who they are and they feel comfortable coming into your space to offer an intimate part of themselves to the artist. Respect me like you respect the next man. You know, I want to be respected, well respected. You know, I respect everybody, you know what I mean? It's really important to me that Black people are visible in, in our industry and not just like tattooers, but people that get tattooed. I express my pride by being myself 100% every single day, whether it's inconvenient for you or not. I express my pride every single day because I love being black.